Quick comparison video of the bird's beak pairing knife by both the Shun Classic line and the Wishtof Gourmet line. These are in separate price points, but I have gotten a lot of questions about the two compared to each other. So I thought I would just make the videos to play it safe. Off the bat, since they are in different price points, it ends up that they are gonna be very, very different knives. So just giving you that warning ahead of time. The point of a pairing knife is normally to peel things and to break them down into smaller pieces but a bird's beak paring knife is actually sort of a misnomer because you don't really use them to peel things. You use them more for two types of things. Number one is for very, very crafty decorative cuts and the weird little shape, the bird's beak shape, caw, caw, helps you do that really well. And the second thing is to sort of make foods a uniform shape and that's by sort of rounding them out. So that's the two things that a bird's beak does. And with that said, let's get into the similarities and the differences. The Shun is a handmade forged knife that comes from Japan, while the Wushtof Gourmet is a stamped machine-made knife that comes from Germany. The actual cutting angles are much different too. The Shun is a very, very sharp 16 degree angle, which is sharp enough to just shave all the hairs off your arm in one pass, while the Gourmet is a very, very not so sharp 18 and a half degree angle, which is essentially so dull that it couldn't cut any of the hairs if you were trying to shave over and over again. The actual composition of the blade varies greatly too. The Shun is made using VG Max steel, which is essentially the highest end steel notched above VG 10, which is already the gold standard. And it is very resilient, very, very hard, holds an edge very well. It's 61 hardness. And by contrast, Wushtofs use their own proprietary blend of steel which is actually a 58 hardness, so it's much more soft. And the end result of that is that it's gonna lose its edge much faster, and it's going to need much more maintenance in terms of honing and sharpening than the Shun will. Finally, the Shun has 34 layers of stainless steel incorporated on either side of the blade. That does two things. Number one, you get this gorgeous Damascus pattern. But number two, it makes it very resilient to water damage, rust, and staining, and things like that. Both knives actually have full tangs, which is great. The Shun being forged with its handle as well ends up being much more ergonomic. You have these recessions on either side, which fit your fingers really well. And the handle is actually D-shaped, which fits into your palm really nicely. So especially for things like this, the uh, paring knife, the bird's beak, it being so nice in your hand ends up being very useful for these type of tasks that require a lot of dexterity and control. By contrast, again, the Wushtof just has a regular plastic handle, so that's that. Both knives have a lifetime warranty, but the Shun takes it one step further and also has lifetime sharpening for free, which I think is sort of a game changer and a deal breaker. The reason is if you take your knives to a reputable sharpener, it's gonna cost you about $5 per inch to sharpen them, so a knife like this would cost you a minimum of, let's say, 15 to $20, really at a minimum, just because it is curved as well. And when you consider that, especially with the fact that you never really know what the results are gonna be, it becomes a no-brainer that for free, Shun looks at it, and if they see any problems, they throw it out and they give you a new one. But otherwise, they put the exact same edge on the knife as when you first fell in love with it, and again, they do it for free. Um, I'll put a link down to both of these below. But I will say that if you want to get an entry-level knife set, for the most part, I would suggest getting the Shun Sora. It is the same price as the Gourmet line, essentially, but with all of the benefits, pretty much, that the classic line by Shun has. So I'll put a link down below to all three. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.